We have a uh, sphere charges 10 nanocoulombs, radius is three meters. So let's find the electric field at a, a distance of four meters, three meters, and two meters from the center. So it's an insulating uniformly charged, uniformly charged, <coughs> insulating sphere. And B, find the flux at R equal to four meters, three meters, two meters from the center. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we could start from the far, uh, when I'm four meters, right, so I use this equation, when I'm outside the, the, sir, the sphere, I use the electric field equation for a, a point charge, so nine times 10 to the ninth, uh, 10 times 10 to the minus nine over four squared. So the, at a radius of four meters, so this, this cancels. So 90 over 16, so it's gonna be something like five. Um, Five point six two five newtons per coulomb, <clears throat> right? And then the electric field at uh, three meters. Well, that brings us to the actual rate, the radius, three meters, right? So that then I could use the same equation, put the radius of the sphere over three squared. Uh, so then it's just going to be 90, well, actually the nine cancels this, so it's just 10. So Newton, 10 Newtons per Coulomb. Okay. And then the electric field, at, uh, okay. So now once we go to the two meters, right, then I'm inside and we use the equation that we derived, uh, before the break. KQ over R, remember it linearly increases. So this is nine, 10, and then the radius cubed times uh, two meters. Uh, so then that's gonna give me, uh, let's see, 90 times two over 27. Uh, 180 divided by 27, 6.67. Hmm. So you, you notice that this part, we can kind of say nine times 10, the KQ is nine times 10, so it's 90. So, uh, if we wanted to do it graphically, so then we would say, okay, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. So then the electric field outside the sphere is 90 divided by X squared. You see? So, But this equation only works for the outside of the sphere. So it only works from three meters, three meters and out, do you see? Outside of the sphere. So at three meters, what's the electric field? 10, is that what we got? Yep, that's what we got, right, 10. And then at um, four meters, what did we get? You've got 5.625, right? Yep. 
Yep, 5.625, let's see. So it decays as one over D squared, one over X squared, you see. So now inside the sphere, what's the equation? If it's a uniform insulating, it's this thing times X, it's linearly increasing. So take this portion, 90 over 27, 90 over 27. So it's, this portion gives you 3.333 times the distance X. So if I were to graph that, it'd be Y equals 3.333 X. You see, so the electric field increases linearly and it should be always a continuous function so that when you get to the surface, the electrical field goes up and then when you get to the surface, it matches the electrical field that you got from the outside, you see. Uh, then from there, so the electric field increases and then it decreases as one over distance squared. So the electrical field at two meters was what? Six point six six six, right? Okay, cool. How about the flux now? So at four meters, how do we get the flux? The flux when once you're outside, right? So it's just going to be k q over r squared times four pi r squared. So one way to look at the flux is is just whatever the you got for the electric field times the surface area of that sphere encompassed, you see, at four meters, you multiply that by the surface area encompassed by that four meters. So you do 5.625 times four pi times four squared, right? So the surface area of the Gaussian surface for radius of four meters is that, you see? So 5.625 times um, 4 times pi times 16, 1130.973. Okay, now what's going to be the flux at the surface? KQ over R squared times 4 pi R squared. You see, so you're always doing the electrical field at that point times the surface area of that point. So then you got 10 times 4 pi 3 squared. What do you think we should get? What did we mention before we went to the break? Once I'm outside, once I'm at the surface of the sphere or I'm outside of the surface, what should the flux, uh, what should it be? It should be the same as the uh, other one. As this, right? Yep. Yep, you got it. Good job. 10 times 4 times pi times 9. Yep. So remember, no new flux lines are introduced after, after 3 meters. So the flux at the surface is the same as the flux after that. So the flux is the measure of how many electric field lines are going through any closed surface encompassing the sphere. So since I'm already encompassing the sphere, no new flux lines are introduced. So the electrical field is larger when you're at the surface of the sphere, but the area is smaller, right? This is larger, but this is smaller. So as you go away from the sphere, this gets smaller, but that gets bigger, you see? So the combination of them is that it's just uh, 1130. The other way to get this answer is just to argue that the flux is the charge over E0, which is 10 times 10 to the minus nine over 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12. So it's a different approach of doing this. You're, uh, you're just saying, oh, once I'm outside the sphere, the uh, flux is the enclosed charge. So this one goes to the top. 
So you have uh, 10 to the third times 10, so that's a 10,000 divided by 8.854. <laughs> you see, slightly different, but it's the rounding error. You see, so that's the flux. This is more direct way, you see. Okay, now, huh? I got a bigger number. Big number? Yep. A different number? Yep. Uh, why? Let's see, 10 to the minus 12, 12. 10 to the 12, remember this is 10 to the minus. Is there a negative 12? No, this is, down here is 10, a negative 12, but up here is a positive 12. Um. But remember this is 10 to the negative nine. Oh yes, that's what I got. Yeah. Okay, how about the flux at um, radius of two? Okay, what was the equation we derived? Once you're in the center of the sphere. Well, if we don't want to use an equation, the other way is just to say, take this flux at um, two meters, 6.67 times four pi two squared. So just take this answer and just multiply that by the surface area of the two meters. Yeah, the flux is very small. When you, once you're inside of the sphere, uh, Newton per Coulomb times meter squared is the units of flux. Uh, so once you're inside the sphere, the flux is growing as what kind of a function? I believe it was a cubic function, right? So remember the equation we derived was, uh, once you're inside the sphere, what was the equation? Um, it was uh, KQ over R, uh, KQ over R cubed, right? Did I write the equation? R cubed. Oh, it was here. Q, Q R cubed over R cubed is zero. Mm, no, no, hold on. I guess I didn't write it. Uh, it should be like this. Flux inside should be the E inside times the area inside. So the general equation would be KQ over R cubed R times four pi R squared. So it's four pi K R cubed over R cubed. Yeah, it's a cubic function. <clears throat> So that when you put little r is equal to big R, then this should cancel and you should just get four pi k. And remember, oh, I need a q here too. So remember that four pi k is one over e zero. You see? So then it just reduces to q over e zero, r cubed over r cubed. So when this is equal to this, the flux is just equal to the one that's outside, you see? So if I wanted to get a general equation for this, I would say 10 nanocoulombs divided by 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12. You know what? I'm just going to use this since it's less rounded. Uh, so I'm going to replace E0 as 4 pi K. And then Q is 10. And then divide by 3 cubed times R cubed. So then you're gonna have this one cancels this one. Ten. Oh wait, I wrote the charge twice. The charge. So uh, there'll be 90 times four pi over 27 R cubed. So 90 times four divided by 27 times Forty one point eight eight seven nine R cubed. Okay, so that would be the general equation of the flux inside the sphere. Oh, 
y equals 41.8879x to the power 3. Can I see that again, Professor? Yeah. So it's the electrical field inside the sphere, kq over r cubed r, times the surface area encompassed by that Gaussian. Then you have 4 pi k, this is q, r cubed over r cubed. And then I'm just going to keep it as 4 pi k, q. Uh, so whenever we want to know the flux, the inside of the flux, we could use, just use that 90 times 4 pi over 27? Well, of course, that, uh, remember, this is, I'm using uh, the Q as a 10 nano coulomb. So if your charge of your sphere is different, then you use the charge of whatever your sphere. Oh, okay. And I'm using radius of the sphere as 3. So, so that's only 10 works. nano coulombs. So the general equation is just 4 pi kq r cubed over r cubed. Okay, I'm going to just write that down. Yeah. Or the other way to do it would be to calculate the E first, the kq over r cubed r, then multiply simply by 4 pi r squared, which is what I did here. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. So let's see if this makes sense now. The flux should, oh, the flux is much bigger. So it goes all the way up. Oh, so I would have to zoom in on, uh, zoom out, zoom out. Because flux goes all the way to what? Uh, yeah, you see it's cubically increasing until it reaches what? Uh, until the radius of three meters, right? What was the flux at three meters? 1130. So it's going to go 1130. So, oh, that's, that's three meters already? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's almost three meters. Uh, <clears throat> 11. Oh, 1130 is here. Right there. That's the surface of the sphere, right? So the flux cubically increased until it got to 1130. What's going to happen after that? Then the flux should be just a straight line. So once I go outside, it'll just be y equals 1130.973. You see what, what that is? So this is kind of showing you graphically the flux inside the sphere. And then once you get outside, then the flux is just constant. I see. So this one shows you the electric field inside the sphere and then the electric field outside the sphere. You can see. Mm. So now if we look at the electric field, electric field is the red line linearly increasing and is uh, right there at the surface, then it drops as one over x squared. Okay, now what if the sphere had different kinds of holes in there? Let's analyze what would happen there. <clears throat> 